Josh Van Lingen joins us, and we're going to talk about uh, Dort basketball and also what's ahead for Josh in the in the coming months. And uh, Josh, first of all, uh, yeah, how you doing? This is uh, this is a time that we didn't plan on, obviously, and we've been in this state for about uh, six to eight weeks now. How are things going for you in Sioux Center? Yeah, it's going good. Um, yeah, really weird, especially right away, just going from yeah expecting to come back from spring break to now just living at home i'm spending a lot more time with my family but it's good and yeah so yeah kind of just hanging out kind of trying to find stuff to do but basketball season came to a close in february and uh, caps your four-year career with uh, uh with the defenders uh take me back to uh being in high school uh making the decision to come to door was it much of a decision for you was it something that you always felt you had on, that was on the radar when did when did Dort become uh, your primary focus in terms of post high school? Yeah, so yeah, obviously growing up in Sioux Center, Dort's always been around, and then <clears throat> had a really good relationship with Coach Dama over my four years in high school. So yeah, it wasn't too hard of a decision just because I built such a good relationship, and yeah, I know how much fan support Dort always has. So yeah, it was pretty easy for when it came down to the final decision. What was the adjustment like going from high school to college in terms of athletics? First of all, uh, what, uh, how that, how was that adjustment? Was it eye opening for you? Uh, how did you handle that? Yeah, it was, it was incredible. Just how much different the game is. Um, the speed of the game is so much faster. You don't really realize that, like as in your transitioning. But I remember my freshman year going back and watching a high school game and just thinking how slow it was compared to college. And then, yeah, just the physicality, especially freshman year coming in. I think there's quite a few senior posts in the GPAC that year. And so, yeah, they were all pretty good and had to adjust to playing against them. And then, yeah, just practice, long, grueling schedule. Uh, high school, I don't it doesn't really feel like that long of a season. And then I think your freshman year, for me at least, once you uh, get to the middle part of the season towards, like, January, February, just – feels like it's dragging on just especially yeah we weren't winning too many games that year so it just yeah kind of felt like a really long year and a lot of toll on the body fast forward to your junior and senior year and i uh, end up winning a fair number of games and you were in the hunt for national tournament berth this past year um how quickly did those four years go i mean you look back and you think man the, those seasons were long but how quickly did the four years go? Yeah, it, it flew by. I mean, it's crazy to think. Yeah, I remember thinking back to my freshman year, like that grueling part of the season. I'm like, oh, these four years are going to take so long. And then the last, after freshman year, the last three just flew by, especially a yeah, junior, senior year. Just felt like it went by in a blink. So, I mean, when I came in, all the seniors were always telling me, like, yeah, like, don't take it for granted. It's going to fly by. You never really kind of think about it until you're in that your own spot of doing it and get to your senior year and you're just like, wow, ah, that flew by. So we talk about the transition athletically. What about from the social and the academic? part of it uh you were always a pretty good high school you were a pretty good student in high school from what i recall how that trend what was that transition like going from high school to college as well from an academic and social standpoint yeah uh, academically it wasn't too hard for me i business major there i mean there are a couple tough classes especially uh in my accounting stuff but i was able to kind of manage that with time manage my time with basketball and studying so it wasn't as hard for me as some others, but uh, socially it was pretty different, just basically coming in as freshman, making new friends, but with basketball, it was pretty easy. Just, I mean, you got a group of 15, 20 guys that you're really good friends with, spend a lot of time with, so yeah, it wasn't too hard either of those, just because, yeah, good adjustment with basketball to be able to meet people, and then, yeah. What... Um... What's ahead for you uh, after graduation? I know you're a business major, uh, accounting and finance along with that, or yeah, what, what accounting and finance are major. So, and you will you have a job lined up in September, and in between you're gonna go for you're gonna try to take your CPA exams. Is that correct? Yeah. So 
uh, yeah, I got a job, accepted it in February, basically, yeah, like a month before kind of everything really hit the fan with all the Corona stuff. So that was pretty lucky with that. And then, yeah, with that, they're not really wanting people to start before September just because they don't really know if you can even get trained going to the office. So I'll uh, take the time to probably try and pass some of my CPA exams. They kind of take quite a bit of time, a lot of studying. So hopefully I can get through some of those and kind of works out nicely just because it's something that you got to take time to do. And so since I'm not going to be able to start, just have the summer to kind of try to hopefully focus on those and try to get them done. It would be pretty nice. What are the regs? What are the regulations for taking the CPA? You've got to have a certain number of hours from college to get to that point. Yeah, right? you have to have 150 credit hours from college. And then um, I think to actually like once you finally get it, you have to have a certain amount of like hours actually working in an accounting place. So I don't think I'll actually be like certified until I get that done. But basically taking the tests are the toughest part. From you were involved in athletics, obviously in academics as well. Did you were you able to take advantage of any internships or part time jobs or anything like that while you were at Dort or didn't your calendar allow that to happen? Um, well, with most CPA firms and accounting firms, they're pretty their busy time is right towards the end of basketball season. So I wasn't really able to get anything with that. But I mean, I had an internship last summer at Interstates just doing some private accounting stuff. So I'm still able to get some experience. So. All right. So uh, this summer it's uh, hang loose, uh, stay low a little bit, do some studying, get the CPA taken care of, and then September hopefully hit the ground running in Des Moines. Yeah, hopefully. That's the plan. All right. Well, it sounds good, Josh. Thanks for uh, taking a few minutes to visit with us. Uh, best wishes for you in this next chapter. And uh, yeah, look forward to uh, hopefully we cross paths here uh, in the coming years when you come back for alumni games and things like that. For sure. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. All right. Bye.